Blessings, family. God bless y'all on today. God bless y'all. I want to give honor to the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank God for His precious word on today. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all. I want to give honor to my wife as well, my sister in Christ. God bless you, baby. I love you. Amen. Richly on today. In the love of the Lord. God bless you all and your families on today. Forevermore. Bless y'all and your children on today, as well as mine. God bless y'all. Jesus Christ, mighty name. Adam in Christ. Adam in Christ. It's going to be short. Amen. Adam in Christ. God bless y'all on today. I hope y'all got y'all Bibles with you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I hope got y'all word. Amen. I believe I only got two scriptures. Two scriptures today coming out of two different uh, books. Amen. God bless y'all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Adam and Jesus both died. Both loved. Both had a bride. Adam, Adam's death through disobedience brought sin into the world. Christ's death through his righteousness brought eternal life into the world. Amen. Let's look at two two verses of scripture right quick. We're going to start in Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. Excuse me. Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter 2, verses 16 and verse 17. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may eat freely. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you should not eat of it. For on the day that you eat it thereof, you shall surely die. All right. Now let's read Romans. Let's go to Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. Amen. God bless his word. Let's eat. Let's eat this short meal. Amen. Romans chapter 5. I'm going to read verses 18, 19, and 21. Let me get over there. some of the similarities yet contrast between Adam and Christ Jesus okay verse Romans chapter 5 we're going to read well matter of fact let me read verse 14 first we're going to read verse 14 then we'll read 18 19 and then skip verse 20 and then 21 we're going to read 21 uh, okay it said nevertheless the death reign from Adam to Moses even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression who is the figure of him that was to come so Adam is like a figure of the one who is to come which is Christ Jesus amen like I said both died both loved both had a bride Adam's death through his disobedience brought sin into the world. Christ's death through his righteousness brought eternal life into the world. Amen. So let's read verse 18, 19, and verse 21. It says, There as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Verse 19, For as by one man's disobedience, Many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Verse 21. That as sin, sin had reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless the reading of his word. Adam. Amen. Adam loved. 
for his bride produced death. Huh? Adam love for his bride produced death. Pro produced death upon many. Christ love for his bride produces eternal life. Or produces life. What kind of love what kind of love do we have? Does it produce death? Or does it produce life? God bless y'all family. Love all.